the easiest thing to do is to rewrite these as another equivalent linear system. If I multiply the first equation by 2, I can get an equivalent expression or equation that does not involve fractions. So I'm going to multiply each of the terms by the number 2. And what we end up with is 2x divided by 2 gives me x. 2 times 5, that's going to give me 10y, so we get negative 10y or minus 10y. And 2 times 7 is 14. Same with the second equation. I'm going to multiply everything by 2 to get rid of the fractions or to rewrite the expression without fractions. And I end up with 6x plus y equals 23. So these will be our equations a and b. So since we are trying to use elimination in this section, I'm going to multiply equation a by 6. If I do that, I get 6x minus 60y equals 84. And that is a times 6. I'm going to rewrite expression b below it. 6x plus y equals 23. That is equation b. And now if I subtract, I end up with 0x's, negative 60 plus minus y equals negative 61y, and 84 minus 23 equals 61. Dividing both sides by negative 61 tells me that y equals negative 1. Next, I'm going to sub y equals negative 1 into equation a or b. So I'm going to choose equation a. And I get x minus 10 times negative 1 equals 14. That gives me x plus 10 equals 14. And subtracting 10 from both sides tells me that x is equal to 4. Therefore, our point of intersection x, y is equal to 4, negative 1.